a 50cc motorcycle that could effortlessly leave you trailing behind in the dust. That's the Suzuki RK67. Imagine this compact beast in the 1960s, racing at such astonishing speeds that it seemed to possess more engine power than it could possibly contain. How could such a diminutive motorcycle compete with the larger ones and even shatter records? Today I will explain how this compact and boisterous legend left its imprint in history and why it continues to be the favorite of two-wheel aficionados. To truly comprehend the legendary status of the RK67, we must journey back to the 1960s. During this period, Suzuki was on a determined mission to firmly establish Japan on the global motorcycling map. They were already known for their two-stroke motorcycles, but they wanted to go further. Their ambition? To dominate the 50cc World Championship, a category in which the dimensions of the engine were not an impediment to innovation and attaining extraordinary speed. Essentially, as certain delightful virtual entities might express, size is not the primary factor. Envision the Suzuki engineers. What if we construct a motorcycle so incredibly fast and precise that it turns into every competitor's ultimate nightmare? Thus, with a combination of exceptional brilliance and a hint of madness, the Suzuki RK67 came into existence. In the year 1967, Suzuki unveiled the RK67, a model that initially appeared to be an ordinary motorcycle, yet beneath its fairing it hid a complete arsenal. Equipped with a 50 cubic centimeter twin-cylinder two-stroke engine, this compact machine transformed the entire concept of racing motorcycles. However, the most remarkable aspect of the RK67 was not solely its engine, but rather its extraordinary 14-speed gearbox. Yes, friends, not even a truck has that many gears. Why 14? Indeed, the RK67 possessed a maximum power band that spanned merely 500 revolutions per minute. The engineers at Suzuki were fully aware that if they intended to maximize every single horsepower of this motorcycle, they required a meticulously precise transmission system that would consistently maintain the engine in its optimal performance zone. Each individual gear was meticulously calibrated to ensure that the RK67 could achieve its astonishing top speed of 176 km per hour. Envision yourself as the rider having to shift gears every few seconds. It was almost like playing a piano at high speed in the middle of the track. Let's talk numbers, because the RK67 is anything but ordinary. With just 50 cubic centimeters, this dual-cylinder engine achieved an impressive 17,500 revolutions per minute, and if you pushed it even further, it could nearly reach 20,000 revolutions, generating a power output of 17.5 horsepower. These figures are extraordinary for an engine of its compact size. To provide some context, numerous automobiles today don't even approach those levels of revolutions. Indeed, on the racing track, it resonated like a swarm of furious bees, and that buzzing transformed into music for the fans and served as a warning to the competitors. Introducing the RK67, and it's certainly not in a favorable mood. It was the ideal combination, lightweight, highly powerful, and possessing an astonishing range of revolutions. Every component of the RK67 was meticulously crafted to maximize the potential of its compact engine. Maneuvering the RK67 was certainly not a simple endeavor. Weighing merely 58 kilograms when empty, the rider perched on a minuscule seat and needed to lean forward with the elongated fuel tank to maintain a low center of gravity. The wheels were so thin they looked like they belonged on a bicycle. And the brakes? Well, just drum brakes, nothing more. Those were times when safety wasn't exactly a priority. Can you imagine going 176 kilometers on this machine and having to break with a drum? Quite an exercise in bravery or madness, but what really complicated the riding were the 14 gears. The motorcyclists were required to frequently shift gears in order to maintain the motorcycle within its most efficient power range. It was a sort of mechanical ballet, a spectacle in and of itself that demanded complete concentration. In its inaugural appearance in the year 1967, the RK-67 established its presence in the World Championship. Hans Georg Anscheid piloted this formidable machine to triumph in the 50 cubic centimeters category, securing a world title for Suzuki and affirming the supremacy of this remarkable machine. He was not solitary in his endeavors. 
Teammates Yoshimi Katayama and Stuart Graham also contributed significantly to Suzuki's triumph in securing the Constructors' Championship. The team was at its pinnacle, with the RK-67 serving as their clandestine weapon. With such highly sophisticated technology, Suzuki's rivals simply couldn't maintain the pace. What was genuinely remarkable about the RK-67 was how each distinct component, from its dual-cylinder engine to the tubular framework and aerodynamic design, functioned in perfect synchronization. The engine, as compact as a human hand, concealed a power that appeared almost inconceivable. The RK-67 was a reflection of the golden era of innovation in Japan. It showed the world that a big engine wasn't necessary to be fast. All that was needed was a perfect design and a team of engineers dedicated to creating masterpieces. Remarkable. Regrettably, by the latter part of the 1960s, the regulations underwent changes. The FIM imposed restrictions on the number of gears in racing motorcycles, and the RK67 with its 14-speed transmission system did not comply with the newly established rules. Over time, Suzuki had to slowly pull it from the racing tracks. Yet, despite its short time in the spotlight, the RK67 had already made a lasting impact. It was a legendary motorcycle that, even outside of competition, remained remembered as one of the most innovative and advanced motorcycles of its time. In today's world, the Suzuki RK67 continues to be regarded as a collector's treasure and a representation of Japanese engineering excellence. Motorcycle enthusiasts and collectors perceive it as a true masterpiece, a significant milestone in the extensive history of motorcycling. This compact 50cc motorcycle evolved into something considerably more significant. It transformed into a symbol illustrating how, on occasion, remarkable advancements can emerge in small packages. The Suzuki RK67 was not merely an innovation of its era, but in some way, it contributed to shaping the future landscape of motorcycles. The concept of developing compact and highly efficient engines evolved into a guiding philosophy within the Japanese industry. We can continue to observe its impact in contemporary models that prioritize efficiency without compromising on performance. The RK67 serves as a powerful reminder that in the field of engineering, it is sometimes more advantageous to refine and enhance what you already possess rather than simply making things larger and heavier. Suzuki demonstrated that technology can propel you far if utilized effectively, and the RK67 achieved an impressive speed of 176 km per hour. Thus, my dear friends, you now have the remarkable tale of the Suzuki RK67. This motorcycle, equipped with a mere 50 cubic centimeters and an impressive 14 gears, brought about a revolution in the world of motorcycling. It dominated the tracks, amazed its rivals, and left a mark in the world of motorcycles that still lives on in the memory of fans today. Because, come on, a motorcycle with 50 cubic centimeters, 14 gears, and 17,500 RPM. This is not merely any motorcycle, it is a true legend. The RK67 demonstrated that occasionally, remarkable stories arrive in compact packages, exceedingly, exceedingly compact, so diminutive they could comfortably fit in your hand. If you are interested in witnessing another extraordinary gem of motorcycling history, a motorcycle featuring four square-shaped cylinders that also triumphed on the racing tracks, click on this video. Proceed and click, I will meet you there.